Hello everyone, today I am going to create this building in Revit using the massing technique. As I don't know the measurements of this building, so the proportions are a bit out, but that's okay because the main purpose of this tutorial is to learn the process. But before we start the tutorial, let me ask you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. Now let's start with the tutorial. Open a new architectural template file in Revit. Then go to any elevation and start drawing the levels. So I am going to create an offset of 10 feet between all of the levels and I'm going to create a total of 25 levels of this high rise building. You can also see that all of the plans are visible in this project browser dialog box. Now go to Messing and Site, click on In Place Mass, click OK. You have now entered the Messing mode, then go to Level 1 Floor Plan and draw a circle like this. Now create another circle which is uh, larger than the previous one but has the same center point. Now create another circle at the placement level of 25. Go to 3D now you can see that. Now select this larger circle and place it on level 12. So now we have three circles on level 1, 12 and 25. Select all three and then click on create form. So now we have the basic structure of this building. Select this surface and then this one and click on divide surface. So we have this uh, parallelogram or rectangular type of shapes. So, but I need a diagonal one. So I have selected this rhomboid pattern from here. Now select this one. And from here you can uh, adjust the sizes and the number of the pattern. Either you want a smaller, pa smaller pattern or a larger one or you can also enter the dimension. But I am going to stick with 12. Uh, 12 number for the U grid and the V grid. Also select this surface and then click on this little icon and select these nodes. So little dots have now appeared within the pattern. Now select this point element and then on each node place a point like this. So now I am basically placing points on each of the node along this diagonal line as you can see. So place points on all of these nodes along this curvy line which is being which is from the start to end. After placing all the points on this surface, go to top view of 3D.
Set the reference plane for this point. Press tab button to change the surface and draw a line of 18 feet in length at an angle of 45 degrees as shown. Give an offset for this line to create a rectangle. Draw an other line like this and then drag it tag line to meet this point. Now one by one I am going to repeat this step for all of these points. So, the th so look carefully for this step. You have to place a line at an angle of 45 degrees. Before that, make sure that you have set the reference plane. You can change the selection for the reference plane by pressing the tab button on the keyboard. And after drawing the rectangle, draw an other line like this to meet this other point
now after completing all the points select the surface and click on hide element so as not to create any distraction I have forgotten to add the lines for the last point element so now I'm going to add the point element for that as well So now all of the point elements have their lines so uh, again hide these and one by one select these rectangles. For multiple selection press control button on keyboard. Now click on create form. So uh, this slope has been created. Now select these lines one by one. Again press control button for on the keyboard for multiple selection. And once you have selected all of these lines, click on create form. So our uh, fun unit fun slope is now complete and it looks like this and you can see how easy it is to create these type of forms in Revit I need to move the elevation symbols on the floor plan for that exit the mass mode go to level 1 floor plan and move these arrows a bit further from the building. The mass looks like this in the elevation so now I'm going to repeat this exact process to create the other slopes in the in this 3D by placing the point elements and then creating lines in the same way as I have created previously. So now I am going to skip that part uh, of creating the five more elements. Now you can see that in the, by using the same method I have created these other slopes which look like this and you can see that how they are in a synchronization and how appealing they look like. Not only this 3D is being created, its plans, its ceiling plans, all of these uh, all of the plans and the elevations are also being created via creating the 3D. Now hide again hide this middle structure then also hide this and now select this complete meshing forms then go to level 1 floor plan select the mirror draw axis command and then draw the axis like this I 
I need to create it on the other side so don't uh, so keep the selection and again go to level 1 floor plan click on draw mirror draw axis uncheck this copy and then create, draw the axis line like this So now the main structure of the building is complete and it looks like this it one part one element one, one that slopey element is not created within this building but I'm just going to save my time and I'm not going to create it because you have the basic idea of how to create this type of building. I am going to delete this pattern as I don't need it anymore. Here I am going to select these pressing forms which has been created with the help of rectangles and I am going to create uh, provide material to these forms as shown in the video. Exit the messing mode and then place curtain systems or which are basically glass and mullions on these slopes as shown in the video. You can adjust the sizes of the glass and the mullions of the grades from this dialog box.
for this inner mass i am going to provide the material of glass as shown So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.